I get another Jim Beam? Absolutely. Thank you very yeah, much. Um, Red Stag, too, if you wanted that. No, Red Stag makes me crazy. Oh, okay, we don't want that one. No, I get, I get nuts, and I start talking like, I hate you, Mom. And, oh, no. Yeah, she, was, she wasn't the best. We'll okay, the perfect. Thank you very much. <sighs> How you doing? This is Chef's Review of Outback Steakhouse. So, let's get down to it because I want to make them quick. I want to make them under 10 minutes so you guys can go live on your life. So, let's get the big things out of the, let's get the, big things out of the way. First thing, the service is excellent. Uh, it's better than a lot of small mom and pop restaurants where people tend to be mean. Yeah, I said it. They tend to be mean. Um, very nice. Very accommodating. They gave me a four top. I'm only one person because I want, that's when I wanted to be comfortable. Um, good luck doing that at Marie's. I'll hit you over the head with a stool. Um, the bathrooms are spotless. The place is clean. The silverware is perfect. So uh, the most important things in the restaurant, they got, they did well. So it's a good place. You can bring your family. Um, the music sucks. Um, but uh, no one really listens to that except us restaurant people. So let's start when you get here. They give you this this pseudo pumpernickel bread. That thing is faker than having two Wednesdays in a week, right? But it's delicious. It comes out warm, has a nice nutty flavor, and they give you whipped butter. So you can do this. A lot of restaurants get that wrong. A lot of expensive restaurants get that wrong. They got it right. Then I got, as an appetizer, I got some ribs. Here's a rib. So my problem is when ribs are this size, they look like they're from a pet, not from a pig or... Okay, don't get the ribs. They're boiled, uh, then they're fried, and then they have this super sweet sauce on it. Um, the flavor's not bad, but that in no world is that a rib or that something you want to eat. Don't get them, they're not good. Let's move, I got some cheese fries. And it comes with a little dipping sauce. Dipping the sauces out as well. Cheese is good. I recommend them. They're great. I mean, the fries aren't homemade, but who cares? It's a good frozen. It tastes like, it tastes like a Simplot um, fry, not a Cavendish fry, but it's good. Simplot's this big company that makes frozen fries. Let's move on to the Blooming Onion with its own little zesty sauce. <laughs> listen to me, listen to me good. The Blooming Onion is beyond reproach. Yeah, you heard me. In my career as being a chef, I've never made something this original that tastes this good. How about that? I would love for this to be under my name and any chef on the planet would. It's that good. I would come here just for this. The combination of the spices and the blooming onion, how perfectly it's cooked and how not greasy it is considering they drop a giant onion in the deep fryer. That's just is a perfect 10. Yeah, you heard me. And the Foster's here is delicious, right on top. They're probably the only ones that sell Foster's, but... Um, it's delicious. Blooming Onion's where it's at. Probably the best, one of the best appetizers. I'd rather have a Blooming Onion than a mozzarella stick. 
Imagine that. Imagine that. Ah. Then we moved to, they told me the mac and cheese is good. They were wrong. Um, the mac and cheese, um, kind of plain. I like that it has little breadcrumbs on it. Um, it's a little dry though. I wish it had a little bit more punch. You know, I'm known for mac and cheese. So uh, I'm not 100% happy with it. Um, the breadcrumbs are good. It needs some salt. Um, if you come here, they give you this, which is great. They have the salt with the cracker on it. So I would say the mac and cheese, one, two, and tap it. Your mac and cheese will be fine. Um, let's move on. The wings. Wow. That's a good wing. <laughs> wow, that's a good wing. All right, Outback, you got me. A good one. Oh, wait. That's delicious. That tastes right. Oh, go. thank you very You're much. Welcome. I'll take another foster. Sure. That got warm on me. Did it get warm? Yeah. I gotcha. Okay, no problem. See, everything's so nice. So nice. All right, where were we? The wing. That is a good wing. Moist. That's the right size. It's an 8 to 10. Nice and spicy. That wing is beyond reproach. It's a great wing. It's great. It hits all the, it hits all the targets. Boom, 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 boom. Outback, you have a good wing. Good for you, because I've had a lot of bad ones. Um, let's move on, shall we? Just wait for my beer. Um, mm, that's got a nice heat to it. So I got the, the ribeye with the bone in it. I figured, let me try the best. I was trying the worst, it's silly. So this is a ribeye at medium rare. cooked perfectly. <laughs> there's, there's a couple problems here. A couple problems. Um, let's start with the bag to get it out of the way. It's tough. Uh, it's under seasoned. And that's about it. Now, there's sort of the good things. It's beefy flavored. It's got a nice beef flavor. That's a real that's a real ribeye. Um the char on it's fantastic. It's got this wood burned wood wood like a burned wood. I got like when they're using those um there's a thing called margarita grills they use in Northern California, which are incredible. It has a great taste to it. I love it. Um, the flavor is fantastic. The flavor tastes, it has a better deep base flavor, besides not having salt, um, that uh, is better than some $50 steaks I've had for the same piece of meat. So at 29 bucks, uh, it's pretty damn good. Oh, there's the shrimp. I already went to side of the shrimp. The shrimp at Outback are they're weird <coughs> i think they're buying them peeled and deveined so uh they're a little gummy but uh, the seasoning is the best thing that i've uh, had as far as seafood in a fast food restaurant better than red lobster can even get near uh with their garlic shrimp this is better than red lobster the shrimp and outback uh, i didn't get the coconut shrimp because um because i'm a human being so yeah, it's not bad. And then last but not least, the baked potato. It has a very, very deep microwave taste to it, the baked potato. But the cream cheese, the bacon, and the sour cream, 
are delicious. And that's it. Uh, overall, I think you can eat here. I think you can eat here. I really do. I'm really impressed. The wings are fantastic. The blooming onion's fantastic. And um, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Bone apple teeth, everybody.